So here's what I'm talking about is, let's give ourselves some space. Um, for a square, yeah, let's say that the area was 25. That's a pretty good one to go with, right? What would be the side length that would work for this square? Five, right? Because, and we have to be careful with how we show this to children. This is A equals S squared, right? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, yeah, we see that the side length right here is 5, which kind of looks like an S, whatever. But is there any other numbers that multiplies by itself to give us 25? Negative 5, right? And that's where the trickiness comes in, is the side length could be 5 or negative 5. We just don't usually show measurements as negatives, but since... We won't always be doing measurements. Naturally, we're going to need two answers sometimes. So if it asks you what the square root of 25 is, you'd have to say 5 and negative 5. If it asks you what the square root of 25 is, you'd just say 5. This one is asking specifically for what they call the principal square root. This one is asking for both roots not just the principal. The principal square root is always positive, which is what we would use in some type of measuring situation. Like this one, right? We don't usually think of squares. Well, the side length of that square could be positive 5 or negative 5. So principally, we would just say the square root of... If the area of the square is 25, then the side length is 5. Um, and uh, this, this is going to seem a little unusual, but... Let's say that the area of the square is negative 4. Okay. Then what, what would be the two side lengths? Yeah, so that's what we would want to say, right? Is 2 and negative 2. But that gives us two completely separate side lengths, which doesn't work. And that's good because it's not supposed to. Um, you can't take the square root of a negative number. Because any two numbers, no matter what two numbers you get, if there's multiplying the same number, let's say that they're both positive. Well, then your answer is going to be positive, right? If you multiply two negatives together, then your answer is a positive. So there's no two numbers that are the same that I could ever multiply together to get a negative number. So this is, this is what I was talking about with... I guess that hopefully this is kind of obvious that it's asking for more than just one answer, right? Because it asks for all of the square roots. So not just the principal square root. So what number would multiply together to give us 4? Now, we kind of did this with those factor trees. I know 4 would can split up into 2 and 2. But 4 can also split up into negative 2 and negative 2. You see that? So the answer to this one is 2 and negative 2.